Elaine. Here's the letter I was telling you about. Oh, right. Thank you so much for doing this. I think you'd be glad. Sure. Thanks, Mary. Bye. Dear Mr. Schuyler, your letter was forwarded to me by my church. I was asked to volunteer to be your pen pal. I'm not much of a writer, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't really know where to begin, except to introduce myself. How do you do? Don't you wonder what we will have in common? Maybe we will become the best of friends. I have opened a post office box and I will check it every day for your response. Write soon, please. People in my life see me as a patient person, but I'm as antsy as they come. Be well, and know that God looks after all his children. Sincerely, Elaine Hodges. There you go. should do us both a favor. Die in my sleep. We a little grumpy this morning? One good myocardial infarction, get the whole damn thing over with. If I go, will you be all right? Edna's not here yet, and I'd like to get an early start. Well, the hell with Edna. Answer me, Daddy. I gotta go. I'll be fine. All right, well, the juice is in the fridge. When the coffee's on, I'll see you tonight. Miss Hodges. Well, what are you doing walking? Flat tire. Oh, well, hey, here. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Yellow. <laughs> What's yellow? The classroom was yellow. Yes, it was. I can read books. No one tried harder than you, Bobby. The classroom was yellow. Yes, it was. All right, chapter four. Everyone on 32? Benoit? Okay, I see you. Three days later, Nicky was walking home from his tuba lesson. It was his birthday. He gave a little skip of excitement. The day of the party had finally come. When Nicky got to his little house, it was all dark. Sherry, his heart was going thump, thump, thump. thump. I'd better act very surprised, thought Nicky. <laughs> oh, okay, pull up, Sherry. Come here, pull up to the table. Dear Elaine, 
I'm happy you replied to my letter. It is as though I've reached through the bars and taken grasp of a hand. Yours. Thank you. Hodges. Elaine Hodges. I like the sound of it. It speaks to me. There is a reason you and I, out of all the people in the world, will be friends. Because I believe there's a reason for everything. Most in here don't want to face that. But I see it as a healing thing. Okay, everybody, hurry up. I kept your letter. I find that it heartens me at night, knowing that we have so much in common already. Yes. Already, we hold a curiosity about each other, a bridge across a mode of loneliness. So what do you look like, Elaine? Send me a picture of yourself. I want to see your face. I'll bet you're pretty. I will think of you until you write again. Yours truly, Charles S. Schuyler. I had my dream again last night. Oh, please, you're not gonna go through that again, are you? Sorry. It's always the same. It's Monotonous. To you. I can't stop myself from dreaming it over and over. I wish we could talk about it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I never know why you say that. I do wish we could talk about things. You learn nothing. How many times have I said this? Something snaps in someone's mind and blood spills. It happens. We were unlucky. Just plain unlucky. Now, can we talk about something else? Edna's birthday is coming up. What do you think we should get her? I fired her this morning. Oh. Oh, why do I have this nonsense? Hey, you didn't think I'd leave just because he fired me, did you? I wouldn't blame you if you did. See, he knows that I know. I don't mean to rat on the man, but seeing as how he wants to treat me this way, I want you to know I found another liquor bottle, hidden. Where does he get it? I don't know how he gets it. Smuggles in there somehow. All right, I gotta go. Position. What the hell? All this time you've been working with me. You know where to put this train. Oh, it's too little, better built than ours. Bring the best of the animals to buy two. Something telling no one what to do. When the rain starts falling, I'll take care of you. Andy. You'll all be safe in the sun.
Daddy? There. There. Dear Mr. Schuyler, your letter is surprisingly poetic. My goodness, you will be an interesting pen pal indeed. I teach the first grade in our local elementary school and I love the enthusiasm of six-year-olds. I live with my father in the same house I was raised. I take care of him as he is an invalid bound to a wheelchair. Oh, there are moments when I look at a brilliant sunrise, for instance, and then I think of what other kind of life I might have led out there beyond the horizon <laughs> in some exotic place. But those are silly thoughts. Enough about me. Now you tell me who you are. Write to me. I look forward to your next letter. Sincerely. Elaine Hodges. Dear Elaine, I'm sorry to hear about your father, but with due respect, I could puke at your letter. You piss on your freedom, but it's the only thing that makes you something. Now choose a door and open the damn thing. Did I tell you I'm a cook in the prison galley? It is slop, I'm afraid, but I can't cook what I choose. One day I will. One day. Hey. Hey! Boy, everything you touch ends up smelling like an armpit! Tell me about your father and what he's told you. He's crippled. Why is he in a wheelchair? Hey, what put him there? I need to know. Yours truly, Charles S. Schuyler. P.S. Your letter smells of perfume. Thank you. Dear Charlie, late at night when I was six years old, an intruder murdered my mother, crippled my father, and then committed suicide. My father will not discuss it. If I try and talk about it, he gets angry. Sometimes he stops talking to me altogether for days. You should not judge me harshly. He is my father. If a person has no loyalty to their own family, then I, I simply just don't know what else there is. I live the way I do because it's what I want. I'm sorry, but you've touched a nerve. If there is a door to open. Let it be your own. I will join you in prayer for that day. Sincerely, Elaine Hodges. Charlie. 
Okay, Charlie. Your time's up. You're out. But I think you're a bad bet. All you've ever known is trouble and the four walls of your cell. You'll be back. <clears throat> See, I'm not a threat to anybody. All I want to do is put my life back together and get a job. Because I got a skill now. I could be a fry cook to start, maybe, maybe someday work in a fancy restaurant. But you won't see me again. You see, this time, I'm out for good. Somebody cares now. I'm not alone. I want to be a part of that world out there. I, I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want to be a part of that world. Well, I can taste it. Hello. Yes, a minute. It's for you. Gentleman caller. Hello? Elaine, hi. Hi. Your pastor's turning to paste. We, uh, didn't get a chance to, uh, speak at the school. Weren't the kids cute? Yeah. You looked really, really beautiful. If it's true love, he'll call you back. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Talk to him about your menopause. That'll shut him up. Yeah, I'm good. No. are burned, but I doubt they'll blister. I wish I would die. Now, now. Just a foolish, helpless old man. Shh, you just rest. You'll be all right. I'd been lost if you weren't here. I could take care of myself, you know that. Daddy. What did Tim, uh, why was he calling? Just stay in touch. Uh, well, you've never been happy with him, never. But don't leave. I'm not going anywhere. No, I mean now. Sit, huh? Stay with me till I go to sleep, please. Okay.
Huh? I've got to go now. Early day for me. Huh? What? What? I've got to go now. Why? It's my birthday. Oh. You wake me up just for that. Well, I just thought you should know I was leaving in case you decided to choke yourself to death. Uh, you got any money on you? Oh, if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. Oh, I mean borrowing. With you loaning it, it's the same as giving it. I'll pay it right back. Huh? Ten bucks? Just as soon as tear it up, throw it to the wind. So go. Stop making such a big production out of it. Hope you don't have a car accident. I bet you can't swallow one whole. By the time you get this letter, I will be a free man, released. I credit your prayers. I've dreamed of my freedom for so long, but it's not a life I know. And it's one I've been denied so many times before. They said things at the prison. They think I will fail. My blood runs cold when I hear their words, because I'm afraid they're true. That's why I need you, Elaine. I'm setting sail with no compass. You will be my eyes. You'll speak the language. And you need me, Elaine, in ways that you don't even know. The key you hold in your hand will unlock nothing less than the truth. Oh. Hector. You're very nervous, Elaine. <laughs> Do you want to speak to me about something? I got heart palpitations. They say it's nothing, but I go to an HMO and I don't trust them. Mm -hmm. Your father was a wonderful doctor. It's too bad he doesn't practice anymore. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm gonna have to go. Does he ever think of coming out of retirement? Oh, I don't think so. I gotta go now, Hector. Okay. Well, let me know if he changes his mind. Okie doke. Banged into the sideboard, damn it. Broke this family heirloom. Bull. This vase has been in the family for generations. I gotta fix it before Elaine comes home. It came all the way from Scandinavia, damn it. Looks more like the five and dime to me. You'd be heartbroken. You would be. If you knocked over something like that, 
like a, an elephant tusk or something that your great grandmammy lugged all the way over on a slave ship? I ought to push you off a cliff. Come on, now, now help me. And why should I help you? Get the glue for me. It's down in the basement. It's probably on a, on a, on a workbench. How do you know what's down there? It's my basement, isn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. Good girl, good girl. Say, you like your cook? Well, it shows up. Works hard. I got no complaints, I guess. How come? Mm -hmm. Just curious, I guess. I'm a chef. Oh, yeah. American or uh, cuisine? It's, uh, French. Uh huh. Yeah, you might have heard of it. It's called uh, En Prison. Oh, yeah, I think I heard of that place. Yeah, sure. Right on. Whoa! Whoa. Hey! Fire! I got it! I got it! He's back in the right He got out, and he knows where I live. I closed my post office box, and this morning that one came to the house. It unnerved me. I don't know what I was thinking. What can you expect from a person like that? It's okay. We all make mistakes. It was nice to hear from you the other night. It was nice talking to you. Look, I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. Thank you. Anytime. I don't mean to overreact. He seemed a little crazy and... I'll take care of it. You make a handsome family. It's worked out for me. Some things I'd never change. The woman I married wasn't my first choice. You know, I, uh, I looked out my window the other night. I could swear I saw you watching us. Were you? I need your help. Talk to you, cook. Sure. Oh, he's a trained chef, by the way. 
Elaine and I go back a long way. She's had a hard go, and I'm not gonna let scum like you make it any harder for her. You understand? You've been warned, Charlie. Cook this? Was there something wrong with it? I want to shake your hand. You, sir, are a genius. I've never seen anything like. I'm, who would have thought this? This? This cheese? Explain. The, what? Well, it's cream cheese. It's um, it's herbed. Herbed? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tarragon. Savory, thyme. A little salt and pepper, and a tiny bit of mint. Yeah, I experimented with the mint, actually. This is the best cheese omelet I've ever eaten in my life. I appreciate that. Stick around, sir. Gourmet. Nothing less. Dear Elaine, I said I meant you no harm, but you're hiding from me. Why? I've done nothing to hurt you. We can help each other, I know it. We can help each other be free of everything that's gone wrong in the past. You don't deserve the life you've been forced to lead. And I can say the same about myself. Though we're so different, we're kindred. We're family to each other. And you'll come to know that in time. In time. So don't cry. Don't be afraid. Your friend, Charles S. Schuyler. Hello? I can smell your perfume from down the hall. Mr. Schuyler. Hmm? Your... The door was open. So, dear Elaine, I'm glad you came. Thought you would. I don't believe in locked doors. You look as pretty as your picture. I'm not sure what you thought you'd accomplish by coming here. You should never have come to this town. You never thought I'd get out, right, Elaine? Well, I understand. I do. You want to hear something true? Some die behind bars, but most get out one day or another. It's time and will. That's the secret. I volunteered to correspond with a pen pal. That was all. If I misled you in any way about my life or my intentions, I'm sorry, that was wrong. But you frightened me coming here. And the lieutenant? Is he a friend of yours? Did you send him to frighten me? He enjoys his power. But he's weak, you know? I've seen that look a thousand times in a guard's eyes standing over me. I liked your letters. Dear Charlie, dear Charlie, and sincerely, Elaine. That's a nice way for people to talk to each other, isn't it? It's decent. Why are you here? You tell me about it. That night a long time ago. What? The night your father was shot. Your mama murdered. Why? Because it's important. Cruel things like that, they shape a person's life. That's true. 
And they say it helps to talk about things that hurt the most. Well, you're hardly the person I would you're talk to. Losing everything so soon, it's like tying an arm behind your back and pushing you off a plank. How are you gonna learn to swim? It's not fair. I appreciate your concern. I'm proud of you, though, Elaine. You sacrificed, you kept yourself pure. I could never have done that. Well, look, Mr. Schuyler. It's Charlie. It's Charlie. With everything I that don't... happened to you, with everything you've given up and lost, you never hurt anybody. Why would I want to hurt anyone? Well, you'd be surprised. Yeah. See, a guy like me could learn from you. I need you more than I can put into words. Everything good that could happen to me from this point on depends on you. Don't say that. The world and I, we're at odds. And they know that back where I came from. They know I'm lost. Lost like a baby just born with nobody to help it. These people running this way and that way, running in all this open space, all this light and choice. You know, I went to a store the other day to buy a bar of soap, and I stood in the aisle for half an hour trying to figure out which bar to buy. <laughs> it made me dizzy. See, you can help it stop spinning no, because because I can't. it's your world, and you've got no reason to be afraid of I, it. There's nothing I can do uh -uh, for you. Uh -uh, nothing. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Everything you give, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back, and I can set you free. What are you talking about? Come on. There are a lot of ways to spend a life behind bars. Now, you thought about leaving him, about having a life of your own. You can say it out loud. Don't you talk to me about my father. Hmm? He's helpless. You don't understand the situation. Yeah, do you? You know what happened that night? Lies are ever been as much a cage as steel bars. Who are you to talk to me about these things? You're in jail, Elaine. You forget that. You'll never get out. I've lived with you forever. Sometimes I'm not sure who you are, what you feel about things. Oh, don't you know how I feel about you? I've always tried to protect you from everything that I thought might cause you pain, like fathers do. I don't think we know how to talk to each other. It's gotten into you lately. You seem to be even worse than... More to what happened that night... Don't start... ...than I have been allowed to know. Don't run from me. Who shot you? Why? You never stop, do you? I need to know. I mean, if there's something hidden away, I deserve to know. But I told you over and over and over, it was a stranger. Now, there's no more to tell. Then why do you get so angry when I ask? Because you're asking me for something that I can't give you. Or won't? I lost my legs and my wife. It was senseless. A lunatic with a gun shot us. Now, that is all I know. What was his name? He was a stranger. How the hell would I know his name? I don't believe he was a stranger. Please, do this for me. Out of my way. Just say his name. Am I being held prisoner in my own house? For this? Who are you? Oh, I'm a friend. I don't have any friends. 
I didn't say I was your friend. I'm a friend of Elaine. Get off my property. Go on, get the hell out of it. You're an alcoholic. Doesn't take a genius to see it, Addison. How do you know my name? What do you want? Boy, you bring nothing but misery, old man. What's the draw? I'm calling a cop. What? A good gig, old man. Make life hard for everybody. And they just play along. If I could get out of this chair, break you your tell me who shot you. Just what is going on here? You know, somebody put you in a wheelchair. You must know who it was. Well, that is my business. And I don't talk about it. You know, if you still had your legs, what do you think the odds are Elaine would still be hanging around here, wasting her life, taking care of a piece of work like you? You hide behind your legs, Addison. Why? Why would I hide? I'm not guilty of anything. Guilt? No. I'm talking about punishment, Addison. Kill me or get out. Whatever it is you're gonna do, just do it. I swear when I see you, you... Don't you ever do that to me again. I swear to you, Addison Hodges, one day you're gonna just push me too far. I'm gonna make you rule the day that you were born. I won't be shoved around by some stupid, uneducated, no good punk. I won't. What? what I was mean? just threatened by a maniac in my own backyard. Who? Your friend. That's what he said. He says he's a friend of yours. What did he say exactly? Well, I don't know. He was looming over me. I was afraid any second he was going to crack my skull open. Who knows what he said? But he's crazy, and he's going to kill us. Why do you say that? Well, because he, he, he he's insane. Because he, he's... Because it's random? No. No, not this time. Someone picked us again? Are you forgetting the little matter of you writing to this bastard? I'm surprised you didn't sit out a, an extra placemat. You're upset. Damn right I am. A man like that'll do anything. There's no conscience, no, 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 no logic. It's, it's, it's reptilian. And we are at the mercy of it. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Why? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Tim, I'm sorry. That was reckless of me. I'm sorry. It was a close call. I wasn't paying attention. I just... Sorry. What are you doing out here? I'm... I'm sorry. You all right? I'm fine.
Marianne. Elaine. I need to talk to you. What is it? You're upset about something. I saw you the other night. Wednesday night. On Main Street. Coming out of the apartment house. Yes. Of Charlie Schuyler. You know him. You were there seeing him. Yes. That's true. What is this all about? What are you doing? Look. I'm very sorry, Elaine. I didn't know he was going to get out. The poor boy spent most of his life a in prison. Boy. He's a dangerous man. And you led him to my door. Elaine, he won't hurt you. How do you know that? You can't say that. But you have no right to point a finger. He's not a piece of garbage. I pity him. Well, you miss things you don't even realize. You're squeezing a ball of dirt in your hand. It's peperomia. Used to read books in the prison library. And I had one on horticulture. I can remember everything I read. What do you want? I told you what I want. I don't know what this is all about. Mary Ann gave me this letter. Who is she to you? Mary Ann Rutherford. Married Sanford Rutherford right here in this town 27 years ago. Her maiden name was Skyler. Look, I would have found you someday anyway. Even before I sent the first letter, I knew you lived in this town. And I knew the name Hodges. I knew the old man was shot and crippled. You torture me! Just say what you know! Boy, truth is like everything else. Nobody comes to it unless they're afraid. Stop it! Well, what are you afraid of, Elaine? Are you afraid of me? The hold your father has on you? Or are you afraid of the years to come? Now, that's a fear that'll rise up in your throat and choke you every bit as much as a crazy man. And when you think you can't breathe, you'll do anything. And even the truth will seem like a friend. And you ask him who she is. You ask him. I need to talk to you. Who talk? Who's this? Do you recognize her? No, I don't know. I think she was a patient of mine. Such a long time ago, I know. I, you know. What's her name? Where, where'd you get this? I want to know everything about this woman. Now, how would I know everything about her? She was just a patient of mine. I don't know. Maybe... Well, I think she lived around here somewhere. Matter of fact, that she... Died rather suddenly. How? Oh, hemorrhage or something. Or something? You watch your attitude, young lady. I've had just about enough of this. Oh. 
Hold on, you know, I, I, I'm there, I'm there. Hello. Tim? Just, kids, okay, that's enough. Come on, Daddy's on the phone now, right? Just hang on. Okay, okay, that's it. Come on, go, go. This is not a good idea to call here. You won't look at me? Now you don't want to talk to me? What have we done? Uh, I think that my situation is pretty obvious. <laughs> really? Not too much is obvious to me these days. Are you all right? No. I took you to my bed. Elaine. That meant something. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hang up. Wait. You have a beautiful family. I know you'd never want to see them hurting. I need you to do something for me. Do you understand? This file, this file was never released to the press. The old chief and uh, your father, they were good friends. Maybe he was a patient. Both. I, I don't know why you're doing this to yourself. No, oh, well, you're kind to worry about me. I do worry about you. There are things in there you shouldn't see. Not alone. Oh, my mother. says what does it say file doesn't contain a motive and it doesn't identify the assailant except to say that it was a woman a woman how can that be it was a woman Honey, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just, I'm tired. I just gotta get dressed. You're pregnant. What? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You don't want to lie about a thing like that. I think you'd be a fine mother. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh, so old. Look, you're not alone. You remember that. I'm not so sure about that, and this is, this is so stupid. It's a gift. It's something you can call your own. Does he know? My father? Oh, no, goodness. Your man. No. I haven't found the right moment to tell him. She was my mother. She was insane. Now that's too easy. She and your father were lovers. I don't believe you. Well, you think you're special, you should be spared. From lies. Well, no more lies, Elaine. I was 10 when it happened. We lived in a little house maybe 15 miles or so from here. We were poor and she got sick. We came to your dad and he made her well. And she was pretty. He liked that. He was rich, doctor. And he used her. I don't need to hear this. She knew he lied. But she grew to love him. To need him. Yearn for then him. Then she was a fool. Yeah, of course she was. Your daddy knew that. Your daddy likes being with a fool so he can get what he wants. You know that key I gave you? She wore it on a chain, hung around her neck. It opens up that little house in back where he'd practice medicine.
What do you think of the truth, Elaine? I can't say it's a blessing. It's ruined my life. And again, the lies ruin yours. I gotta get out of here. He's cruel. He takes from people and he doesn't give back. You want me to hate my father for something that's over. It's done. You look at us. Look at us and tell me it's done. It isn't done. You ache for something better. You said so yourself. It's time. That are you crazy? You're evil. Save that crap for your holy rollers. Now get out of my way. Uh, you stay where you are if I have to knock you down. You knew all along. What? What did I know? What the hell do you want from me? I want your confession. How can you talk like this to your father? What gives you the right? The right? The right? I gave my life over to you. Dressed you. Did you listen to you? No, no, I want to hear the truth. And I want to hear all of it. All of it now. Okay, Say it. okay. You win. It was no stranger. It was someone I knew. A woman. She was on my doorstep begging for help. Full of disease. That's what happens when you look like a pig. I. Shot her full of antibiotics, and unfortunately, she lived. A medical service for which you would receive payment. Huh. Yeah, you could say that, I guess, yes. You raped her. Didn't have to. She loved me. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted me to leave your mother. You imagine that, huh? I don't know what the hell she was thinking, but that's what Shut she up. wanted. It would have been kinder to have pinned her down and choked her. <laughs> In retrospect, that would not have been such a bad idea. Mayor Cooper, huh? Mayor Cooper. Oh. Well, you're not so happy now, are you? Now that you know. Oh. Get a hold of yourself. Life goes on, trust me. And nothing has to change. Hmm? No, Father. This is going to change. I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. Baby? You are going to have a baby? <laughs> now, who the hell would want to have a baby? Hey, uh, Elaine? Uh, it's a little out of my area of expertise, but uh, it's no big deal to terminate a pregnancy. Particularly one this early on. You've probably got a few weeks left in your first trimester. I fire up the old autoclave, do it myself, and no one will be the wiser. What do you say? <laughs> Think it over. Elaine? I'm late. I have to go to work. So go. <clears throat> There's someone on their way over to meet you. Hector Roos. Oh. And to give up the ghost. Another paid companion. Patient. 
He remembers you as a fine doctor. He wants you to diagnose his heart palpitations. Oh, kitty. Huh. I'm back in business. Out there, I'm not gonna come get you. So who asked you to? Anybody let you practice medicine on them deserves what they get. Rather go to a vet. Doctor? There's a DUI proceeding east along Highway 56. Try him again. He's off his radio, Dell. I can't reach him. Lordy, this is so unpleasant. Ha <laughs> 
Thanks. No problem. I'm here. Over. I found the lieutenant. I'm going to patch you in. Uh, what is it, Delbert? Lieutenant, uh, a very, very bad thing has happened. I don't need to tell you. Injustice and pain, they go hand in hand. This must be so hard for you. Somehow you'll find your way. Oh. Elaine, Elaine, please. Elaine. Stop. Stop. Quiet. Quiet. You gotta trust me. They're gonna be looking for me. So then much time. I just came to say, finally, my mother rests in peace. I wish she'd never come. You don't say that to me. Your whole life is out ahead of you now. Finally. Now, could you say that if I'd never come? I'm scared. I'm scared. There's nothing worse than to be scared. Scared and alone. I'm not alone. I'm gonna have a baby. Look, we shouldn't be on the floor like this, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay down. I know the feeling of him living on my heels. I know they're close. But we're free. Every breath we take from now on, we're free. We can help each other. Make sure nobody's life slips through a crack or falls by the wayside. I never had a brother or a sister, but Imagine this is what they would do for each other. Miss Hodges, are you all right? No second time. Miss Hodges? Just run. What? Just run. Yes? Miss Hodges, I, I, need, to, I need to know if you're OK. I'm I, fine. Wait. It, it looked Why? like someone... No, I was sitting by the fire, and then I went to get a drink of water. But I'm fine. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, well, good night, Miss Hodges. OK, good night. thought I could turn this into a, a bistro. Oh, that would have been something. Nothing quite so heartbreaking as what could have been.
Not much of a lunch crowd today, huh? So sad. How was I to know the guy was an axe murderer? He knew his food, though, I tell you. Oh, he had a roasted eggplant, raspberry vinegar. Huh? Who knew that ever existed? Those doors, uh, shut by themselves, don't they? Yeah, well, they swing shut. They're spring-loaded. Why? Is there something I should understand here, Delbert? Watch. I'm trying to be patient. See, this, this jam isn't set plumb. Gravity gives this door a mind of its own. It's always going to want to slam shut by itself. So? So it would have slammed shut, locked. There's a broken window back there. Yeah, but, but there's snow and mud outside the window. Why wasn't any mud found on the inside? Why wasn't it even wet in there? Maybe the old man let him in. I think whoever did this broke that window to make it look like a forced entry, then used a key to come right in. A key? Isn't it obvious who we're looking for? Oh, for crying out loud. After all these years, she finally realized that her father was a lion bastard, and, and she blew. Don't you think I thought of that? Well, I just don't think Elaine Hodges would smash her father's head in. Besides, Charles Schuyler is a bona fide psycho, and he has a motive, too. Just because he's a good cook doesn't make him an innocent man. He had to have a key. Delbert! I told you he'd be back. Hold it right there! Stop! Stay in the lane! Don't hurt me! What the hell are you doing back there? I was trying to help him. I was trying to help him. Don't you know what happened to Addison Hodges? You go on now. Go on. You're free. He owes me money. Some things in life you just gotta take a loss on. Hey, go on, get out! I hope you don't mind. Delbert? It's cold out there and, and my feet hurt. M may I sit down? Yes. <sighs> it's an act of human kindness that he keeps me on, really. He's loyal. He must miss your father. I spend my time wondering what life will be like without him. I still have my mom, but... If she went, I think I'd feel like an orphan. Not that I can't get along without her, but just that... It's, it's a comfort to have your parents. Comfort? Safety? He was all I had. I don't mean to intrude. Yes? Hector Ruse made his appointment through you? My father is strongest in the... Was strongest in the morning, so I suggested Hector come by early. Edna told us that your father headed out to the guest house before 8.30. She had breakfast already, but he didn't want it. He was thrilled. He was an excellent doctor, you know. He had a fine mind. Well, his enthusiasm left him alone for more than a half an hour. Are you sure you told your father exactly what time Mr. Rules would be coming? Yes, I am. And when the lieutenant found you by the, by the highway, 
It was almost 10.15. I didn't notice the time. Why did you pull off the road? I needed to cry. My father and I had a huge fight the day before. I already told you all this. Yeah. It's, it's been hard for you, the, the convict and all the things that, that he brought to light. I needed to cry. I understand. For how long? I don't know. Time kind of stood still. It's probably half an hour or so. Well, it, it must have been more like an hour. I mean, you, you left the house before your father let himself into his office. It could have been an hour. I don't know. Well, you were late for work. You must have checked your watch. Delbert, what are you trying to say? I should probably check on the lieutenant, see if everything's all right. Oh, one other thing. Are you sure there's not another key to the guest house? Charlie, no! I don't know, Elaine. Like we're damned if we do and damned if we don't. And what I give for a clean start is clean. Don't make this mistake. That's what it's going to take, Elaine. For somebody to step out into the world on day one without a memory to haunt him. And you take me. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. No, Joe! We've uh, got him in the lockup. We're trying to get him an attorney now. Good. You'll need one. Lieutenant, I just don't... Shut up, Delbert. Can I just remind you that we still don't have a murder weapon for whatever that's worth? You don't need a murder weapon to prove a case. But what it could tell us, I, I mean, prints or where it was found, I, I don't know, Some, something. Tim, we have Charlie to let Charlie didn't... go. He didn't do it. I know. Do you know that your father kept narcotics painkillers in that old office? Yes, he did. Cabinet was broken into. I hadn't noticed it before. Probably some drifter, drug addict, 
came in, took the opportunity. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. It's time for you to move on. Make a life somewhere else. If only one of us had had more courage. Don't you wonder what we could have had together? Everything is relative, and I think that is true. I've dwelled at the bottom of my life and suffered, and now I find myself lifted beyond my dreams, held aloft by a happiness I never knew possible. You have left and I've stayed. Our places have reversed, but our gift is harmony. You and I, Elaine, know from where we come. And for all our pain and loss, we're still blessed. For I believe the sweet, clean air and the open space will for us never lose its taste. I think of you often, Charles S. Schuyler. Dear Charlie, it's been more than a year since my father's death. I wish you could see me now. I have a baby son, and I named him after you. I spend all my time with him. Maybe someday I will teach again. I live near a place that is so beautiful it makes me think of God. I wonder what he sees looking down on me. I hope he will judge me fairly in his infinite wisdom, knowing life is complicated and holds many secrets. Sincerely, Elaine.